Okay, we're going to talk about how to put together an all-purpose canopy that you would rent from One Stop Rental. Probably the first thing that you're going to want to do before you even get the tent to your house is call the Underground Utilities Protection Services, and they'll come out and mark your area to make sure you have no utilities in the area that you're going to be staking. You are going to be driving a stake that's about 24 inches long, and that could cause damage to an electric line or cable or something along those lines. So your tent package is going to come complete with Obviously your vinyl canopy, so there'll be ropes attached to the tent at about every 10 feet, and then there'll be two ropes on each corner. You're also going to get poles, and in this case this is a two-piece pole that's going to go around the outside perimeter of the tent, and they just go together like this. For the middle of the tent, you'll have two longs and one short. And that's an example of what the longer poles will look like. Okay, so we're going to talk about staking first because that's the first thing that you're going to do. Once you've got the tent laid out on the ground, you're going to go around to each rope and drive stakes, which we've already done. Um, the distance from the tent to where your stake is going to be can be measured using one long pole and just line it up with the edge of the tent and put your stake right at the end of the pole. It's a good guide. It's real simple. You don't have to get a measuring tape. Just use one of the poles. Okay. Probably the most important thing when you're setting one of these tents up is to make sure that at your corner, okay, at the corners, you get your ropes at about a 90 degree angle to each other. So you're going to have one rope coming this direction and one rope coming out this direction. It's going to make the tent more secure. It's going to make it look the best. So we've got one last stake left to drive. We're going to go ahead and put it in now. <clears throat> when you're staking, you'll want to stake through the metal ring located on each rope. So through the metal ring, we're going to measure out. And that's where the last stake is going to go. When you're staking, you do not want to use a hammer. It's not quite enough weight. That's a four pound sledgehammer. It's perfect for this job. You notice we're not going to drive the stakes all the way into the ground. If you do, it just makes it really difficult to remove them. Okay, now we've got all the stakes put together. We're going to put all of our poles together. And we're going to start to put the poles underneath the canopy and raise the tent. Okay, now we're ready to put the poles in the tent and start to raise the tent. Uh, the pole goes through a grommet, okay, and Sam just put the pole through the grommet. And when you raise the tent, you're going to want to kind of angle the leg back towards the center of the tent just a little bit while you're putting tension. Um, you can see that we put tension on the ropes with this rope tensioner and you just kind of slide it like that and when you release it, it holds in place. Okay, so you're going to want to put all your corners up first. You can see that we've got the pole kind of angled back towards the center of the tent. It helps when you're setting it up. And then next you'll put your side posts in. Then lastly, you put the middle post in. Once you get all your poles set, you can start to walk around the tent and take the angle back out and make them straight up and down, and then tension the tent um, to make it nice, tight, and a, a nice appearance.
And that's how you install a 20 by 20 all-purpose canopy. Uh, you will want to, if you have severe weather, thunderstorms, and heavy winds, you'll want to drop the tent. You can leave it staked, but just go ahead and drop the poles, and then set the tent back up when heavy weather moves through. Okay, the party's over and it's time to put the tent away. So you just drop the tent down, take the poles away, and an easy way to get the stakes out, if you just take your sledgehammer and kind of tap the edges a little bit, that'll enable them to come out. Now, if you've driven that stake very far in the ground, you might need a crowbar or something along those lines to um, help remove the stake. Okay, your stakes are out. You want to take your ropes and throw the ropes back into the interior of the tent, just right over top of the tent, and then you're ready to fold it. Remember, never put a tent away that is wet or dirty. We do charge a cleaning fee and also a drying fee if a tent's returned to us uh, wet. Uh, they'll mold up very badly. So you just fold it. You go in half first, and then just come back to the center again, and just keep folding it until you get it the third time and just fold towards the middle. And one more time. And then it's ready to go back in the bag. Okay, and you're ready to go. That's how you take down an all-purpose canopy.